And we talked about, well, they've got to loosen up a bit, but they have their patterns. And then they play out of the patterns. And if the patterns are working, that gives them great foundation. And, you know, uh, Ernst Joubert becomes qualified for England uh, this autumn. He is their ultimate pattern player. He, he's a number eight who's the best man at the front of a line at defence and attack. But he's a really clever player. He plays wide channels almost exclusively as a runner. But what he can do, he can carry. And when he gets chances, he showed in this 50-point demolition of Leicester last year, he can score. He's an important, integral part of that season. And he's interesting. I mean, I've chatted with people on, England for, on English club form then he's a contender. But I still remember Super 15 rugby. Is he quite making that step? He's going to be interesting to watch, especially against Thomas Waldron. I was going to say exactly that. But just to pick up on Joubert, do you think England will and should look at him? <clears throat> look, I mean, if he's playing the, the wide stuff, it's very, very difficult. Two, two different roles. If you say Waldron play, it's almost like, a, to mention Dean Richards' name again, the old-fashioned sweeper at the back. The eight falls back, whereas for Saracens, Brits does that. So again, Stu's right, he plays on the wide outside. Which way do England want him? They're two incredibly talented players. Yeah. One's a big, m bit more bruising uh, player, and one's actually a, a good line-out forward. So it's a combination of two, it's up to Lancaster. And where, where does Saris go? I get go? him involved, definitely. Absolutely.